Hi, Hiram here. This uh, video is going to be on a test that I want to do on an article that I saw in the Backpacker magazine, the August, ish August issue of 2011. In it, on page 26, they're talking about an ultralight makeover. And one of the things they were talking about was up here, start cooking light. It says about reduce fuel consumption to save mucho weight on trips longer than a weekend. Start by painting the bottom of all silver pots with flat black Rust-Oleum stove paint, which boosts efficiency by 30 to 40 percent. I thought, hmm, interesting. It kind of goes against everything that I've been taught. Uh, in Boy Scouts, my Scoutmaster really drummed it into us that you have everything shiny. This is my original Boy Scout pot. You can still, maybe you can see it there. Uh, not too good on this. But it, even with all of the Brillo pad washing I've been doing with this, it still has the Boy Scout emblem on it. But this article is saying is to paint this black and it should work better. Now, I don't want to paint my Boy Scout pot, so what I have here is a pot that I got out of a Boy Scout kit uh, that I bought at Goodwill. It doesn't have the official logo, but it's the same type of pot. Now, this is thinner. It's not as heavy. This pot weighs 186 grams or 6.55 ounces. This one's a bit thinner, so it weighs 147 grams or 5.2 ounces. So I'm going to test it on this, and I don't care about painting if I paint this one. But what I have to do first is a test to see what this pot does just by itself. This will be similar to a test I did back in 2009. It was lab which lab? Lab 0027. But I did that with the standard pot that I was using at that time, which is the same kind of pot, but just bigger. So anyway, I want to test this today. I'm going to do it on this windfall. Is that what it's called? West wind, something like that. It's not one of my favorite pots. Let me see. Yeah, West Wind Stove. I did a test on this some time ago, and I was kind of disappointed in it. But I think it gave something like nine minutes to boil two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. So I figure this will give me something to work with uh, as far as figuring out the 40% efficiency in it. So let me start this. I'll put a little alcohol on the rim of the stove to prime this. You can see it's been a while since I've done videos. A little out of the habit. Start that up. Let that come to a bloom. I have two cups of water here. Setting at about 58 degrees. Put that in the pot. Take out the piece of ice. And let's see. Okay, it looks like we have a bloom. Put this on. The temperature on this, let me start this, looks like the temperature for starting this is 59 degrees, room temperature is 30, is 73.3 degrees Fahrenheit and 71% humidity. And let's see how long it takes for this to come to a boil. There we have 
two ten to eleven to twelve at nine look like nine oh eight. Wonder why that didn't alarm. Anyway. What I had there was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, coming to a boil in 9 minutes and 8 seconds. If I remember right, on the previous lab that I was talking about, it was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 9 minutes and 14 seconds using my standard pot which is a large one. So this is about the same then, 9 minutes 8 seconds. That was on the small Trangia stove. I put 2 ounces, 2 fluid ounces of alcohol in here. I'll weigh it. It was totally dry. So when this cools down I'll weigh it and see how much alcohol was used. What I'll do now is let this empty this out, let it cool off and I'll spray paint it and then tomorrow I'll do the second part of the test. So uh, we're, you know, see what it does. So, I'll be back. Hi, hi, I'm here. I'm here, back here for the uh, second half of this test. This is the test where I'm trying out this idea from Backpacker Magazine, the August 2011 issue. They had said that if you paint the bottom of your silvery pots black, that it should increase your efficiency by 30 to 40 percent. So I painted the bottom of this just up the side a little bit, but painted the bottom black. I used uh, Krylon barbecue stove paint. Special purpose. Now this stuff says it, it will smoke the first time you're using it, so it might get some fumes from this. What I've done is I've put the same amount of alcohol in here by weight so it's to the two ounces from the last test it used about 16 grams of alcohol that's about a third of the two fluid ounces anyway so got two cups of water here put that in the pot get rid of my ice cube Let me start up this Trangia. Get a bloom off that before I start the timer. Now according to this, the first test that I did on this, it was with the pot with the shiny bottom. It took nine minutes, which is just about the same as it was with my other pot, my standard pot, that had a couple of seconds more. But according to this article, if we should save 30 to 40 percent, it means the boil time instead of nine minutes should come out to four to six minutes, if I figured this out right. So it looks like we got a bloom here. Put that on. The water is at 60 degrees. The uh, room temperature is 77 degrees, humidity is 73%, it's raining outside. So let's see where this goes. Here we have 210, 211, 212 at 952, 952, I don't know why the alarm's not going off, maybe it's time to get another timer. Okay, I don't know what to say there. Let me just dump this out. 
put that out. Okay, I don't know. This time it actually took longer than the first test with a silvery bottom. This is a flat, I think that's supposed to be flat black, but not real shiny, although it looks shiny here. The first test when it was a silver bottom, two cups took nine minutes and eight seconds to come to a boil. This time two cups starting at about the same temperature took 9 minutes and 52 seconds, almost 40 some seconds longer than the first test. Now the article did say Rust-Oleum flat black, maybe the paint makes a difference, I don't know. But this is barbecue and stove paint, so I thought it would be the same stuff. <clears throat> but it actually made the time longer. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll just go with the silvery bottoms like my Boy Scout master had us do. I'm sure if you went to try to clean this now, sooner or later this paint would start scraping off and then look like, you know, in between silvery and black, so. It's not sticky or anything. I really don't know what to say. All right, so there we have that. Let me know what your feelings are on this, what you think. Basically, I, I like this magazine. It comes out with some good ideas, but maybe this one just didn't peter out, or maybe I should buy this Rust-Oleum paint that they're talking about. Let me know what you think. So, as always, I look forward to your input, your questions, your remarks, your helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.